Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition, the redo. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, we had tried to become friends, let's put it that way, with, uh, the United Nations of Earth, and, uh, said fuck you to the Polysima Syndicate. Turns out, they're technically allied with each other. What? That was dumb. Okay. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition, the redo. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had tried to become friends with the United Nations of Earth, and only just recently did they rebuff our advances, or at least attempts. Uh, Polysimus hated our guts, still do. And, uh, we are currently rivals with them. This group here, the Sutharian Entity, kind of popped out of nowhere. They hated us, but now they don't hate us. It's a very strange sort of affairs here. Not entirely sure what to think. Um, maybe they allied themselves with the Yon? Maybe? No, they have, um, they have closed borders to the Yon. So, I don't know. They're wary against me, but they seem to like me because of our mutual rivals with Polysimus. However, I, now that I know that Earth is allied with them, I don't want to exactly be rivals with them the entire time. But, um, I don't know how else to fix this mess. <laughs> except to declare rivalry with them again. For some reason, they stopped being a valid rival, but then they are able to be a rival again. I don't know what happened. So we're just going to say fuck it, make them a rival again, and hope that changes things for us. Anyway. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Lawrence Lloyd died. Oh, no. The Admiral. You have Giovanna Moretti. At the ready. That was an unfortunate turn of phrase. But, now, it's all good. We're all ready. <sighs> We're all ready with Moretti. I need to stop. <laughs> I need to be stopped. Anyway, with, oh, United Nations have declared Sutherian Entity their rival. System reconnaissance So now completed. we, again, share a rival with Earth. Will that make them like us again? Yes! Will that allow us to do a non-aggression pact again? Yes! Nice! And as long as we keep that, we should be fine. And they... Now declare our the rivalry with us again. That's fine by me. Fine by me. Didn't like you anyway. Really? They went over here. Interesting. Special project complete. Old with defects. Likely due to the vessel being a civilian transport, the shipboard databases were not fully scrubbed as part of the decommissioning process. So while nothing else of value was found aboard the ship, our data scientists have managed to recover partial references to unknown alien technologies. So we've learned how to make auto cannons. Nice! Or technically we know, you know, of them, and then we'll move on from there in learning how to make them. Which is cool. I'm fine with that. Okay, 
In that case, I should have you move to do a thing. Actually, no, I shouldn't. You're fine where you're at. Um, what I will be doing is making you do a thing after you're done there. I will move you to Hojum and then make you do that there. That's fine by me. And then we'll have you take care of this group of... System reconnaissance oh, you completed. Shit. You little shit. You're just going to keep doing this, aren't you? Going to keep doing that. Drive me up a wall, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you are, aren't you? Special project complete. Oh, hey, the artifact was recovered. A thorough investigation of Arbitraeus I has unearthed evidence of a past Ute presence. An away team from the ISS Policier has managed to bring a relatively well-preserved artifact back to the ship, which should hopefully increase our knowledge of this ancient civilization. I'll take it! Making you go after them, I don't care how long it takes. You will take care of them. One way or another! System reconnaissance completed. There we go. The combat going. Went beautifully. All right. <laughs> as long as it went beautifully, I have no problems. All right. Um, and with that, I, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Let's go to repair the fleet and then call it good from there. Anomaly found. Oh. Something in the Sapad system. The Sapad system. It's not Sapad. There's no double A's there. Um, something in the Sapad system is corrupting some of our sensory data. The source of the irregularity seems to be the planet Sapad 2. Interesting. Javier Solano, look into it. We must know what's going on. And that went about as well as I could have hoped. Nice. Okay. Construction so complete. You're done with that. Oopsie doodle. I'll make you do this research. Right after you're done. And they are done here. Good. Make the mining and then. Hmm. Should I? Yeah, I probably should. Um, yeah. Kerbal was... Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Kerbal was... For what exactly? I forget. I forget exactly what it was. Okay, this was also a trade thing. Okay. Well, then. That makes that unfortunate. Because then that kind of ruins my other plan. Uh... It doesn't ruin it all that much, does it? Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Hmm. You know what? Let's instead... Well, once I make this, then I'll change it. Let's upgrade the Riadora system's starport. So that way it's something usable. Or rather, starbase. And then we'll go from there. Alright. So far, so good. I think. And... It's going pretty okay so far. Construction complete. How about with our buddies, the Yeon Alliance? It's, is there anything else I can do with you guys? Doesn't look like it. That's fine. That's fine by me. Anomaly found. Oh. 
The material composition of this asteroid differs significantly from its neighbors. It likely has a different origin than the other bodies of this asteroid belt, and should be investigated more closely. Why not? Look into it. Can't blame you for wanting to look into it. Let's do it. Pick up my phone here real quick. There we go. The planet that wasn't there. Huh. Zapad 2 is not a planet at all, but a sophisticated 3D projection. At its center is a projector that generates an energy field simulating a physical body and a gravity well so convincingly that our sensors mistook it for an actual planet, producing the anomalous data. We can only speculate as to why someone would go through the trouble of faking the presence of a planetary body at this location. Sadly, the projector did not survive our experimentation. It's extremely strange. That is extremely strange. But that's done there. And then we'll build an outpost there just to take advantage of that energy credit intake there. Coprolite asteroid. Although it is difficult to accept, all indications point towards asteroid 133DBS12. Uh, that, uh, those last two letters in there really, uh, really take the cake with this one. It points towards the asteroid being a coprolite, a piece of fossilized feces from some kind of massive life form. It appears to be almost a billion years old, and much of the fossil's original organic composition has been replaced by mineral deposits. Our scientists are baffled as to what kind of creature could have produced something like this, especially in space. Remarkable. All right. Welp. We found a giant piece of shit in space. And it is sufficiently System enough reconnaissance completed. into the episode where I can say it was a big piece of shit. Construction complete. Oh, wow. Survey things left and right and winning at all of them. Nice. Um, fuck, I can't make a space station there either. Shit. Uh, all right. Okay. Anomaly found. What the blah, 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 blah. That was too fast. I didn't actually get to see it. Um, I was. That's what they're doing. Uh, Brinkman has found an anomaly. Sensors report a shipwreck of unidentified origin has been sighted in orbit of Sipad B. Wait, that's a star. That's the second star in that system. Okay. I mean, might as well look at it before the sun swallows it up. Okay. Shit, why not? They're going to help on Straya. There we go. Parsacs, huh? Well, let's build the starbase here and then move further up and get to the rest of them. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, if, if it would increase our influence, that might be a good idea. Although, I don't know how much pleasing the Polysimus Syndicate will work out for us in the grand scheme of things. Our crew aboard the ISS Brinkman report that the Sepad B shipwreck appears to have been the result of an unexpected geomagnetic solar storm. Ooh. That's not fun to be in the middle of. The supply ships suffered a complete loss of life support systems and sustained inoperable damage. That's the main reason why it didn't sound good to be in. 
drifting until it entered the Pad B's gravity well. There are no survivors. The ship's cargo hold does indeed contain a notable amount of minerals. However, the, capital, the captain of the ISS Brinkman cautions that the construction indicates Polisimon design. It is highly likely that the minerals belong to the Polisima Syndicate, and they may be displeased should we lay claim to their shipment. It's only 300 minerals. It's not like I need it. I just return it and get the influence. Why not? Anomaly found. Oh. Some manner of artificial structure peeks out from between the toxic clouds of Sargas II's atmosphere. Interesting. Let's look into that then. Construction complete. Ace. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Take that. And do the trade hub here and here. Which is just fine by me. And then I guess we'll hold on Construction to getting complete. herbals until I get the Riadore up to all three that I'm going to do on it. Construction complete. Incoming transmission. There we go. Felons! We had received word of our downed supply ship's cargo. We would like to extend our gratitude to you for taking the time to recover it without the need for policemen intervention. Our pleasure, Polisimai. We'll just be nice for now. Alright. Adds the returned wreckage cargo opinion modifier towards Empire of Felonic. Hey! Any modifier is a good modifier. Usually. <laughs> Key phrase, usually. Alright. Whoopsie doopsie! Didn't mean to turn that off. Debris in a Vexus. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, they will eventually get to that, I guess. Oh. Dean Glass reports that the artificial construction located on Sargas 2 is not a structure at all, but rather a colossal robot from a bygone era. This aging mechanical behemoth lies disabled in the mountains, slowly being corroded by the volatile acids that rain on Sargas II. It has notable weapons capabilities and appears to be built as an unmanned spaceship. If we want to make use of it, we will need to act swiftly before the corrosive environment of Sargas II renders the robotic warship wholly inoperable. Recover a mysterious heavily armed robot? Unwise. But at the same time, it's just going to die if we don't do it. Assuming, of course, it's living. Semi. A bit. I say bring it up, motherfucker. Cover the warship. It's also a... It also needs a hell of a lot of doing. As it needs a construction ship. Where is Sargas? Should probably do it this way. The science ship that's there. Oh, fucking deck. Okay, um, here's hoping it can get there. Build the, do the research project first, and then build the starbase. There we go. That sounds like a plan to me. Uh oh. Oh no! I finally passed away at the age of 91. God damn, I lived a good life. God damn! Hell yeah! Lived all the way to 91, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Well, this is when the Empress Antonia I ascends the throne at 78. Jeez. Sweetie, you have a hell of a time. <laughs> I'm hoping you live longer <laughs> than that. Ooh, darling. Okay. She also has Eye of the People. Uh, champ Eye for Talent, Champion of the People, rather. And Fertility Preacher. That ain't too bad. 
That ain't too bad. Crown Princess Catalina is the new heir. And will take the throne when our current ruler dies. Fair enough. She has a Corvette focus. Oh, that's unfortunate. And an expansionist mentality. Outpost build cost and star base influence cost. Be lower. That ain't too bad. System reconnaissance completed. Wish she didn't have a Corvette focus. That's a little worthless, but okay. I'll take it. Uh, the measured surface temperature of Sargas 6 is in the hundreds of degrees, despite its frozen surface. What could be causing these discrepancies? Let's look into it and tell us why. I'd say that's a good idea. Where's my steam open on my computer? Give me a second. Oh. That's an update. Okay, well, I'll deal with that later. I'm especially not going to deal with it while I'm recording. <laughs> That'd be silly. Okay. Anyway, onward we go with our exploration and everything else. We have so many things going on right now. So, so many things. <coughs> White Hell. Interesting name. Despite the seemingly frozen surface of Sargas 6, the planet's orbital path around Sargas leaves it blistering at several hundred degrees. Under normal circumstances, this would sublimate the ice on Sargas 6's surface. However, extreme gravitational pressure exerted by the planet's ultra dense core keeps the water in a solid state resulting in a planet of fiery hot ice. Oh, wait, I know. I know a little bit about... Well, I, I've seen it in a uh, little glass bottle in a GIF uh, at some point. Um, it was under immense pressure, and it would turn to ice, then boil, turn to ice, boil, over and over and over. So it's a similar sort of process to that. That's kind of cool that a planet ends up in that sort of predicament. That's kind of cool. That is very curious. I kind of want to see it in action. <laughs> Science division reports a new breakthrough. Fair enough. Machine template system has now been done. Rewritable assembly templates allow for the creation of bespoke synthetic worker designs. Nice. Hells yeah. Ooh. Ion thrusters would be nice. That would be a decent upgrade to get. A star hold would also be very nice. Nanite transmutation. I don't even have nanites right now. What? <laughs> Where did that pop up? Okay. Uh, that's weird. But all right. It technically isn't supposed to pop up until we go through the L gate. What the fuck? That's weird. All right. Uh, let's get the ion thrusters. I say that's a good idea. So we'll do that. Although... Wait, what? Why is nanite transmutation so close to being done? What? What? <laughs> what? Okay. I guess if we're going to get it now, we might as well do it now. It's so close already. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? All right. Shit. How can I turn that down? All right. And they are done here, I guess? Um. I thought they would be going to uh, Riodore. I thought <laughs> that would be finished just before they got to the next starport, but I guess not. 
Um, let's go to ruin him. Get started there. With that. Science division Actually, reports you know a new breakthrough. Screw that. Let's go for there because the energy credits. Anomaly found. Is too good to resist. Scans indicate the presence of a foreign alien made object on one of Sargas 5's many frozen mountaintops. Cool, let's look into it. And we've completed that research rather fast. I still find it really weird that we got that that close for reasons I don't understand, but okay. I, I, I don't know why that was almost already completed. There's no reason. I'll take it, but I mean, there's almost no reason. Rare crystal mining. It would be nice to have that now. It would be very nice to have that now. But holographic casts is cheaper. And it would allow me to turn a lot of minerals into a lot of alloys really quickly. Let's do it. Although standardized destroyer patterns would be very nice too. But system reconnaissance completed. How many of those am I bringing in volatile moats? Two. Construction complete. Okay. That's something we'll work on. Get that going. Beautiful. And then we'll go back there. Yugel. Yugel has a planet. Oh. A whiff of something. The ISS Velasco has recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Sargus V. Clusters of small perforations on five sides leave science officer Dean Glass to be believe it is not a container, but some sort of aerosol dispersal device. Initial tests seem to confirm their suspicions as trace aromatics still emanate from the object. A special project has been issued to confirm whether this might be an information-carrying device constructed by some alien race communicating primarily through the secretion and reception of atmosphere-borne chemical compounds. Smiles. Malodious. System reconnaissance completed. We'll have to look into that. That's on Sargas 5, okay. Eventually we'll get to that, hopefully. Recover the corroding warship, Sargas 2. They're heading to that eventually. We'll deal with this on Polkor 5 eventually. And where are they? They're over here. Um, we'll head over here, and hopefully, that will allow us to see what's in that direction. And then, hopefully, that will give System our reconnaissance completed. Hold enough time to escape. The Matriarch, a creature of a legend, swims languorously between the gas giants in Cephalbach system. Larger than any Tianki on record, indeed, larger than any of our projections could have allowed for, a space whale of impossible proportions seems to have made her nest there. With tentacles longer than a Felinian battleship, this magnificent Matriarch's glowing hide stands out startlingly against the void of space. She is old, remarkably so, a veritable ancient covered end to end in battle scars and strange growths. A gigantic, unexploded proton torpedo is lodged in the venerable creature's back, and the fractured remains of ships in the system speak of what manner of fate befell any vessels that strayed too close. Well, here's hoping they get out of there. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. Science ship lost with all hands.
you did your duty. It's been an honor, Pranavakuti. The last of the scientist family. And they died to a crazy big leviathan. Wowzers. Well, that's about as bad as it gets. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Gonna make another science ship. in honor of the family who did the best science the Flinian Empire will ever see. Construction complete. Okay. Okay, well, we found a spark of genius rather fast. Faster than I anticipated. So, let's throw that spark of genius in where Shivangi was and throw Shivangi into a ship. So they can learn a few things while they're out in space. Have them survey that system. That was not how I meant you to do that, but... I'll make you do that. And then we'll move you to that. Sounds good to me. Okay. Before I forget... been an honor. Okay. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Cold fusion power. Beautiful. Alright. Self-evolving logic. That would be nice. Exotic materials labs would be also nice. But gravitic sensors is probably the best Thing we can do for our research. Also, we get a listening post out of it, so why not? These sensors have been tuned to look for any gravitational changes in space, such as those produced by the presence of a starship. The listening post. The listening post houses a team of dedicated operators tasked with analyzing hyperlane reverberations, functionally extending the range of a starbase's sensors. That is pretty good. I say let's do it. Plus it's cheaper than self-evolving logic and I don't need exotic materials labs right now. So, onward we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, map the stars edict. No, I need that to continue. So I can continue mapping the stars quickly. Ooh, Castra 3 gave us Zro. During its survey of Castra 3, the ISS Velasco discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed Zro. It is an extremely rare aerosol of exotic particles that appears to have been deposited here through a meteor impact, but its true origin is a mystery. If ingested by psionically gifted individuals, this aerosol should act as a very potent and potentially addictive drug that enhances psi abilities. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should cons seriously consider 
establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Absolutely, fucking lootly we will. But that is Construction later. complete. That is a very later thing. All right, and make that so we can exploit those. And then... Oh, I don't have enough influence for that yet. Through hard work and experience, Governor Sebastien Duval has developed new skills. Nice. Construction complete. Warship restored. Nice. So we've managed to get it. Beautiful. The engineering crew manning the ISS developer are pleased to report that the mysterious warship found on Sargas 2 has been successfully extracted from the planet's hostile environment. Its corroded components have been repaired and replaced where needed, including its discharged power core. As the hulking warship was powered back on and regained operative status, it swiftly became evident that the machine possesses a notable degree of artificial intelligence. We can communicate with it. Then on screen. Let us see it. Booting systems. Activating biointeractive interfaces. Warning. Diagnostics have not been run for 1,761,125 days. Would you like to run them now? Run diagnostics. Please wait. Diagnostics complete. Designation. Void Born War Form 5875.1. Plasma Thrower. Online. Matter Disintegrator Cannon. Online. Kinetic Disruptor. Online. Targeting Matrices. Online. Compliance Module. Online. Biointeractivity Module. Suboptimal. Hardware status. Memory drives A7 through C18 have failed. Where are your makers? Searching. Unknown. Why were you alone on that planet? Memory drive A7 has failed. Unable to answer query. Who made you? Makers. Yes, your makers. Who were they? Makers. Never mind, I must be stuck in a loop. Query, are you makers? Not yours. We found you alone on a planet. Hardware management systems have identified several foreign devices. Please confirm origin. If you're asking about the new parts, yes, we repaired you. New entities performed restorative operations, provided hardware replacements. Ergo... New entities are makers, if you want to look at it that way. Unit 8... <laughs> sorry. Unit 5875.1 was isolated from command units. Unit 5875.1 was unable to escape hazardous planetary environment. On day 1,761,125... Unit 5875.1's reserve generators failed. Unit 5875.1 faced gradual molecular dissolution due to hostile surface solvents. Yet Unit 5875.1 persists. You and new entities performed reparations. Unit 5875.1 will serve new entities. Uh, we could replace the AI, or we could have it be our buddy. Huh. Very well, but we're watching here. Oh, that's S8. <laughs> I thought it was 5 this entire time. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Well, now that I've got it straight. Welcome to the Empire of Felony, S875.1. System reconnaissance completed. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Well, let's look into it. 
What is the war form like? I'm kinda curious. Huh. Sapient combat computer ion thrusters hyperdrive. It it does have quite a loadout. Rail guns, disruptors, plasma cannons. It has a hell of a loadout. Although its weapons don't really match its range all too well. But it does have pretty good stuff. It does have pretty good stuff. I kind of want to just put this above the planet along with the uh, Wraith. Just in case. You know, just in case something goes weird or it gains new abilities later on. I just kind of want to put it there. You know what I mean? Okay. So, they will move to Sargas. Not, not move from Sargas to Parsacs to build the starbase there. And then we'll move on. Sounds good to me. Alright. Construction complete. Alright. Oh, I see. They're moving back over there. Okay. That is what I asked them to do. So, okay. That's fine. I was curious what they were doing. So we found a war form, which is a basically a Science robot. Science division reports a new breakthrough. And nice, beautiful. As extrasolar expeditions become more common, it is important to provide planet-side relief for returning fleets. Uh, let's do. Hmm. That's a good question. What should I be doing? Colonial bureaucracy. This hyper entertainment forum is something I can't necessarily uh, do right now. It's something I can do in the future, sure, but I just can't do it right now. Mm, it would help, I guess. Local administrative developments allow for closer supervision of colonial affairs without excessively burdening central decision-making. Let's do it. I don't see why not. So, let's do. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. Not bad. Not bad at all. Magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of your... If Yurgel 4, I almost misread that for a second. The magnetic field of Yurgel 4 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the ISS Brinkman. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. Nice. Hell yeah. Gotta love the cool shit that happens right as you're looking at it. It's always nice. Uh, moving from Nijiro to Saya right now. What are you doing? Oh yeah, you're doing that. Uh, after you're done with that, we might as well have you do this too. Because that has a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Actually, don't know why I did that. Come on. Okay. Precursor's discovery. Ooh. Authorities on Felon Day recently exposed a large smuggling ring, and many arrests have been made. In an attempt to bargain for leniency, one of the smuggler captains gave us the coordinates of a moon that supposedly contains remnants of an ancient precursor civilization. Well, we might as well look into that, shouldn't we? Just wanted to see how our population is going here. Not terribly. System reconnaissance completed. And encourage planetary System growth. reconnaissance completed. Not. And encourage planetary growth on this planet as well. I don't see why not. 
Okay. Oh. They're done. Okay. Um, where is the other one? The Ute again. We're doing all of these when I don't need them all done. God damn it. Um, listening arrays. Did I have someone doing that already? Don't feel like I did. They're, they were looking into the debris field here. And what were they doing? Not that. And then... They were doing this. They were doing that. Hmm. Well, signs of Ute activity is right there, so why not? Then they'll go back to assisting research. Since it's just a system away, why not, right? Okay. Kind of want to see what time I was looking at. And uh, it's kind of getting to that point that I might as well uh, end the episode here for right now. So we have discovered a robotic uh, spaceship. We have expanded our empire a little bit. We have re-become friends with... Uh, the United Nations of Earth, and on the path towards friends with Polysimus, as long as we get rid of that rival re we got into, because I'm an idiot, but I can't do that until two years from now. Fuck. But, we will eventually do that. We are rivals with the Sutherian Entity, which is now inferior. I guess uh, their ass is getting handed to them by uh, the Polysimus uh, war machine right now. And, uh, yeah, then we will move on to becoming friends with more people, except for the entity, because they seem to be a little flip-floppy. I don't like flip-floppy. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games and trying to figure out the best way to become friends with everyone I want to be friends with. Uh, Polysimus I'm still kind of on the fence with, and Cetharian Entity definitely do not. But, we got a couple cool things going for us, and we'll see if we can keep on going. Uh, hopefully avoiding the big leviathans in our system, which there seems to be now two of them. Lovely. For you.